What was the weapon I haven't used? I haven't used Blaster that much. You know what? Let's use Bla let's use Blaster a bit. Yeah, I've heard people call it K-Bob, but that's just K-E-B-A-B. Kebab. Because you don't spell Bob. B-A-B. I'm not going to question it. I mean, some people call it differently. I've always known it as Kebab. And I'm going to keep calling it that, so... Move! <laughs> I just realized we double blasted too. Oh. Mm. That? The splatling? It is. Cool. Oh, there's the. I missed. Oh, I still got him though. That's huge. Nice. This is the sploosh, I think. This is chumps. They scored. I'm looking at two guys right now. And lost guys right here. Alright, we're good. Chilling in a bubble. Cool. Why haven't I played this weapon more, dude? <laughs> okay. That's why I don't play this weapon more. Look, look how I just missed point blank right in front of me, dude. What did I have for breakfast? And do not say it was beans. <laughs> Sorry, it was. I can't say it's not because it definitely was. So it was the leftover beans because you know when you have one can, you have like half the amount, and then you save the rest for later. And I was just like, oh, we have the other half. I might as well have the other half before you know. Yeah, I definitely did have beans and toss again today. So yeah. I don't know how y'all eat beans and toast. Well, it's beans on toast, actually. The beans are on the toast. It's not beans and toast. It's not like the beans are one place and the, the toast is a side. You know, beans are on the toast. They're very, very complex meals for some. So like Sloppy Joe, but with beans? The heck's a Sloppy Joe? You like put like some guy called Joe and like... Food. What is a Sloppy Joe? I actually have no idea. It's you on a sandwich? Okay. I mean, I've heard of Sloppy Joe, but I just don't know what it is. Who is Joe and why is he so sloppy, dude? Why has he got such a bad name to him? Like ground beef in this kind of sauce? I mean, I do like ground beef. But I don't like it when my ground beef is called Joe. There's a certain type of Sloppy Joe? Is it like a Joe with a different surname, dude? Like, what's the difference? I missed! Oh, you! Oh, based auto bomb! Up there. Nice. I'm gonna say it. Who is Joe? I don't know! What? Nice. You're lucky I don't have ink. Joe was very sloppy. It's Joe Mama. Joe Mama! Joe Mama. Alright, there we go. Maybe we figured it out. Ooh, I got the golden. Is that a gold clams badge? Wait, let's actually have a look. How can you tell if it's already gold? <laughs> a thousand clams wins. Oh, it is gold. It like looks the exact same as the regular one, but it is gold. Amazing, dude. So this is a hundred clams wins. This is a thousand. Crazy, right? Do y'all add anything to your beans on toast? Yes, cheese, ham, salt, pepper. Cheese is great, dude. Cheese? Nah, bro, I'm about to exit left. But cheese is great. You don't like cheese? Oh. Come on, you guys just hate everything. I don't know what you guys want me to do. Have you ever had jacket potato before? Do you even know what jacket potato is? <laughs> it's a jacket potato. <laughs> That's my first cough. Well, jacket potato is an open potato and it has beans in the middle and cheese on top. If you, if you, I mean, it's the main dish is beans and then potato that's open. Could have cheese on top of it sometimes, but it tastes good. I mean, well, to be honest, it's all right. It's just all right, not gonna lie. But it's the presentation that looks cool. Why would you ruin a potato like that? All right. Have you ever had fries with cheese, guys? Let me let me let me dumb it down. Have you ever had fries with cheese? What's your your take on fries with cheese? You know, cheesy fries. <laughs> Why would you put beans on everything? Okay, look, calm down. I'm not. It's not like I'm putting beans on like pizza. Now that's cursed. That's cursed in its own right. Well, yeah, I said fries and cheese because jack of potato is not so much different. Except there's more, it tastes more potatoey. At least it isn't Swedish banana pizza. Why would you put banana on a pizza? It's like putting pineapple on a pizza. Now, it's actually all right. The milk and bean sauce mix into a healthy beverage. I hate 
that sentence so much. Pineapples go on pizza? Well, they don't. Pineapples goes with goes with ribs. Barbecue ribs. Not pizza. That's the only time I can agree with it. Yeah. So a little bit obscure. Hear me out, guys. Peanut butter cup. <laughs> I, I feel like you're not you weren't trying to say peanut butter, but peanut butter. Alright. It's just crushed up beans, but made into like a paste. You guys want some peanut butter? <laughs> like, I love peanut butter, dude. Yeah. I love my peanut butter, dude. Why does pineapples not go on pizza? Because I can't tell which is cheese or pineapple. Haha! <laughs> People who don't like pineapples on pizza probably have never tried it. Wrong. You're wrong. I've tried it. You're just wrong. Imagine eating beans on toast but not pineapple on pizza. I don't have to. What are you talking about? There's soybean butter and I think it's good. You tried it and you like it? Soybean. What's a soybean again? Soybean. Oh. Oh yeah, I love soybeans. Actually, no, I love soybeans, actually. There's not really much taste for them, but it's just like nice to have like rice or like some sort of like curry dish. They kind of slap. I'm not gonna lie. I'm generally crying laughter. All the peanut butter stuff. Peanut butter, dude. It's the double B, dude. Peanut butter. Don't you dare. I just heard you said you like beans and curry. Well, not like baked beans. I'm talking like soybeans, you know? Baked beans and curry, I think that's very, very freaking cursed. Oh, I could score. I'm gonna score. Fun story. I thought I got scammed this week. Oh, that's pretty fun. Dang. I wish I got scammed. <laughs> I could have as much fun as you, dude. Over aiming, but still hitting. Oh my god, relax. You have a roller, alright? I love that. Hey, dude, I saw yeah. a post saying that today was your birthday. Oh, did you? That's true. Happy birthday. Wait, it was a post? <laughs> Who posted that? I didn't even know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure, why not? It's my birthday today, why not? Let's just rock with it. Oh my god, happy birthday, I can't believe it. Wow. He was born again, and he'll be born again in March as well. Damn, I forgot to get a birthday present. Oh, it's okay. There's another chance in March. Dude, when is your birthday? March the 7th. Man, dude, how come you get two birthdays? Well, you see. You have to be born twice. So, you know, the first time when you're being born, they take you out the womb and it's just like, oh, that's cool. And then you put, they put you back in the womb. That is so cursed. You wait to cook a couple more days, maybe even months, then you come out again. Did you just refer to unbirth as cooking? <laughs> I mean, the baby's got to cook first, right? Before they're, they're fully developed. Dude is living in different timelines. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> I don't think I am. We've all had to cook a little bit to be who we are today. Yeah, they take you out and see you're not done and put you back in. This baby seems a little, a little medium rare. Put him back in again. A little bit of a rare baby, a little bit of a mid-baby right there. I don't know, man. Doctors are crazy, dude. I don't know.